YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to AJ's Garage. Thank you guys for tuning in and thank you for watching. Subscriber count keeps going up, so thank you guys for subscribing and interest in the channel. Uh, today's video is going to be on installing some aftermarket gauges. We're doing a temperature gauge and an oil pressure. So I wasn't really happy with what was in the truck previously. Um, they just didn't look very good. Uh, it's hard to kind of see them where they were located. So as you can tell, also I'm in the truck. Uh, my wife and I work in retail, so unfortunately we work today. But we're just going to go over to some families, relax, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now that I have the backup lights working, moving inside here, next is the oil pressure and temperature gauge. Now, I do have aftermarket ones. Um, these were put in by the mechanic that had originally got the truck running. Why he placed them on individual pods like that, I'm not sure. And then they're also a little bit difficult to see as I'm driving. I'll insert a snapshot of that. But I plan on moving them just right over here so I think that'll give it a cleaner look and let me show you what we're putting in so what's going to be replacing those old gauges is these ones I got from Autometer so we have an oil pressure and a water temperature I ordered these off of Amazon and I'm going to be using this little gauge panel to mount them this has a really really nice finish um, I'm actually going to drill out a hole here and use one of the stock bolts that goes into the dash just to kind of be able to center it. But these gauges come with everything needed, which is really nice. I actually didn't realize that until I opened them up. But this one being an oil pressure, comes with all the needed hardware, and then also the oil pressure unit for this gauge. So they make it really, really simple, which is extremely nice. You don't have to go out and buy anything extra. So let's get these put in. So I got the bolt removed, and this is actually used for the support brace. I pulled the ashtray out so you guys would be able to see it, but it comes from the firewall there and just ties into the center section of the dash right about here. So that's where we're gonna mount the gauge panel. And I already drilled the hole in it. I tried to center it, but it wasn't quite centered. But they're gonna sit right about there so I think that's going to look a lot better. First thing we're going to get to in the engine bay is the temperature sensor. So the temperature sensor will mount right in this location right here. Of course to get to that we're going to need to remove the fan, the fan pulley, and the alternator. So let me get that started and I'll catch back up with you guys when I'm done. Alrighty guys so as you can tell I got everything removed. I also removed the old temperature sending unit which threaded into the block right here. And that one looked like this. This was the piece that goes into the block. Uh, I believe it's a brass fitting. I'm not quite sure what it is. And then the piece that actually went up to the gauge was this one. So the way it goes through is like so. Threads into the block. This threads into there, creates the seal, and it gets the temperature reading from this end, and this wire went up to the gauge. So the one we're replacing it with is the autometer one, like I had mentioned. This is gonna be threaded into the block and then in very similar style, this gets threaded in to this one. This will give you the temperature reading and then of course we just hook up our wiring to this and then run it up to the back of the gauge. So let's get this put in. Temperature sending unit is installed. Now, before I threaded both pieces on, I used a little bit of a blue Permatex, which is just gonna help it not get seized up. So. If I ever do replace the engine in this truck, which I do plan on doing, uh, this should come out pretty easily. So now let's get everything put back together and we'll move on to the oil pressure. So now I got the oil pressure, um, not quite sure what you would call this, but oil pressure line removed. So this one literally just sends up oil pressure through that hole there, runs up through this hose, which ran up to the gauge. So this would have had oil flowing through and the pressure from that would have gave you a reading. Now this piece is pretty seized in here so I wasn't able to get off, uh, get it off, but the new one 
is a pretty similar fit. So it'll have this threaded piece that goes down into the block. And then this is the oil pressure uh, unit that gives us a reading. So we'll get this put in. I'll show you guys where it is on the back of the block. And then we'll get everything wired up. So I got the oil pressure sending unit installed and wired up. While I was here, I also replaced some vacuum lines, but now let's move on to the interior of the truck. Sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled broadcast, but this is me from the future. So during the process of installing these aftermarket gauges, actually I was able to figure something out, um, slash fix, uh, I guess you could say. And I've had this issue going on for about two years now since I've had the truck on the road. Um, it's something as far as drivability, it drives a lot better, runs a lot better. So I just kind of laugh at myself, um, but glad I figured it out. So let me turn this camera around and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So here we are in the engine bay and what I figured out slash fixed had to do with vacuum and a vacuum leak. So as you can see, the oil pressure sending unit is installed. Um, the transmission line, transmission vacuum line is secured. I actually was able to go to the junkyard and find that little um, correct clip there that goes on to the transmission so it holds the line off of the transmission so shouldn't be making any rattling sounds. But the vacuum leak, as you can tell that vacuum line there runs to the brake booster on the other side and it just has a single vacuum port. What the truck originally had there was this multi-port vacuum fitting, I guess you could call. I always thought this was just adjustable and meant to kind of rotate um, into whatever orientation you wanted. But as I removed it, I realized that it was quite loose and it should have been tight. So there was the problem, a vacuum leak. Ever since I had got the transmission rebuilt and put back in, it just didn't quite shift right. Sometimes the shifts would be delayed. Um, the truck wouldn't really run right. Sometimes it would idle pretty high at a stop. Um, and I never could really figure out what it was or why it was doing that. But it was a vacuum leak. So I ordered this fitting here to replace that one in the back, but it still didn't fit. These barbs here at the end um, didn't thread all the way down. They were hitting on the intake manifold. So I just placed that single one there. This transmission vacuum line was originally hooked up back there, but I was able to find this fitting up here at the front that was plugged up. So I used that one. And now the truck runs a lot better. Transmission shifts smoothly like it should. Got the gauge panel mounted. Now we're just gonna put the gauges through and start wiring them up. Alrighty guys, so both gauges are in. I am really, really happy with how they look. They look a lot better than the old ones and they're gonna function a lot better as well. They almost look too nice for the interior of the truck since we're still doing some work on it there. I need to touch up this radio delete plate, probably just paint that black. But they came out really nice, so Wiring is next. I already ran the wires from the sending units for the oil pressure and the temperature gauge. So I just need to cut these down to length, put the little connecting ends on. I'll show you a picture of the gauges um, from the back and the fitment and let's get these working. So I got the wiring just about completed. As you can see the ground right up there to that support brace. The bottom connectors, which are these, Two um, are from the sending units, so got those connected. I don't have the bulbs in the gauges yet. We just need to do the power, and I'm gonna grab power from the fuse block. There's these two little fittings right there. I'm just gonna tap into one of those. Sorry, it's a little shaky. It's a little hard to film under the dash. But here is what's gonna give power to the gauges. So. This one is going to the fuse block. Just add a little 10 amp fuse and then split it. So let's get that put in and then we'll see if we got power. Moment of truth. So I got everything wired up, keys in the ignition, and let's see if we got power. Up. So it looks like gauges go up to zero or they get set. 
And let's see if we have oil pressure. So I let the truck warm up and went for a drive around the block. The temperature stayed really constant right there at about 180 degrees. Fluctuated a little bit at long stops, but um, it ran a little cooler than I thought it was. So I'm really happy with the outcome. Gauges look great. Thank you guys for watching.